the Vidj restaurant family has been introducing all of us to the amazing flavors of Indian cuisine and making us fall in love with them. Today we're visiting My Shanti in Surrey. This is the newest addition to the restaurant and you're lucky enough to be in the kitchen with the incredible, the one and only, Mr. Vikram Vidj. My pleasure. Namaskar everybody. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about the concept here and how it's different from your other restaurants. Well, you know, my Shanti is actually based, it's called My Shanti by Vikram Vij, which means it's based on my travels to India. Mm. I love India. I go to India every year. So I go there, not as a chef, but as a student. Okay. I go to these ladies and say, please teach me how to cook your things. <laughs> because the beautiful part about Indian cooking is that a little bit of this and a little bit of this creates great dishes. That's There's no one way to do it. Yeah. So my Shanti as a concept is to pay homage to the ladies of the world of India, the chefs of India, and sometimes just home cooks of India. Well, you're already inspiring me. Thank you. <laughs> my pleasure. What are we making today? So um, I went to this place called Hyderabad, which is. Okay. The, the moguls that you find maharajas coming from there. But he was such a rich aristocrat and he had so much money that he used to make this dish called, well, the dish came from lots of parts of the world, but it was Hyderabadi biryani that became really popular, which was slow cooked chicken and rice with all the most expensive ingredients that you can get and cooked so slowly in a clay pot like this. These are called biryani bowls, mm -hmm. basically. They're glazed inside, as you can see. This part here actually creates an airtight container yeah. like this, like a seal. So I'm gonna show you how to use this pot, first of all, and then make this dish with all the beautiful aromas I know, I'm and the spices. These... So it is a little labor intensive, right. but I want you to kind of enjoy the labor intensive part Let's of it. It's eleven it. Absolutely. Right. I wish my onions looked like that when I cut them. So throw in a little ginger. Don't cook with measurements. Cook with your feelings, <laughs> with your cook feeling, with your heart. Yeah. Because cooking is meant to be with your heart. A little bit of green chilies. First key ingredient is to marination of the chicken. You would cook this rice. Once you parboil it, then you would add your spices to it. There's some saffron, there's some cardamom, yeah. there is some raisins, and some cashews, and some bay leaves. You take in the chicken. Chicken at the bottom. At the bottom, so always. Get the heat right there. Yeah. So now you're really sealing in all those flavors in there, right? Exactly. A little bit of rose water. It's a little bitter on the palate, mm. but it's like that's just more of an essence, right? That's nice, actually. Yeah. And just let it rest in the oven. Right. So once the heat comes up, the heat will rise, the moisture will rise from the chicken. It'll finish off the rice, right. but the moisture will not go it'll anywhere. Stay in there. So it'll stay in there. Wow, the aromas are beautiful. Look how beautiful it is. You get some really nicely tender pieces of chicken that mm -hmm. are cooked in there. You get the crispy onions on the top yes. and the aromas. So when you taste it, you're not going to find it spicy. It is still Indian, but it's not going to be that fiery hot. Right. It's going to be more like flavorfully hot. And that is the key to Indian food. Well, this biryani sure does not disappoint. That luxurious mix of flavors kind of makes me think of the Taj Mahal and Maharajas and maybe tigers also. <laughs> so please visit myshanti.com for more information. And don't forget about all the other restaurants in the Vidj family. I'm Amona, and I think by the time I'm done today, there will not be a single grain of rice left. <laughs>